morning it ends overnight it was raining and uh, now we're just in front of our youth hostel our hostel and guess what on the other side is already the ocean so this is it this close i'm quite surprised it was raining at night it's cleared up now the rain is gone now it's it's mostly dry no more rain and we're off to our final day here and see what we can explore So there's an ugui study, which is a rare bird. Ah, it's all day. You can probably not hear anything I'm saying. Yeah, the sun is just coming out. Come on, just a little bit more, please. Oh, the sun's come out. Just look at this. Everything is just so much nicer when the sun is shining. Nishinojima is also fishing because of its fishermen. There's a real big fishing industry happening here. Quite a lot of the people that live on this island are fishermen and they fish the fish that we might be getting fresh on our dishes when we come to Japan. Right next to the ocean is the Heikika Museum. And guess what? It's free. Let's have a look. Into our guest house, you can see a mix of traditional architecture but also a modern touch to it. In the common room, there were flyers with more tourist information. Upstairs, us girls were sleeping and the boys were sleeping downstairs. And there's also a large bathroom with a huge bathtub and two sinks. The weather has cleared up more and more now and uh, the sun's coming out, it's very very pretty but we are off on this ferry now going back to Oki and then uh, probably back home but yeah that was a really really good experience. I really enjoyed just cruising around my car and like driving around the island and seeing it and kind of exploring it uh, as a group that was really good. Yeah. 
Yeah, we.